What's going on guys? It is Mark and normally I'd be saying I just crushed a workout but I actually have not. In fact, it has been like 14 or 15 days since I've actually worked out. And that's kind of what this video is about. I want to talk to you guys about um, some of the struggles and things that I've been facing over the last two, three weeks. Um, because so many people think that, that us as Beachbody coaches have everything together. We're always motivated and always positive and always working out and excited to work out and um, want to eat healthy all the time. So I want to talk to you guys and just be straight up and real with you about what's been going on. And um, I don't know if some of you guys have seen, um, I posted a video, actually my brother posted a video probably about two and a half weeks ago where he challenged me to, to take a jump up on one of the, I, I don't know what they're called, but they're like the, the step ups or whatever. And I totally failed and I went to jump and I whacked my hand on the, the um, metal piece. Ended up really messing up my hand, I'm actually still hurt and knuckle. I don't even know what the heck's going on with it. I probably should have it checked out. Um, but I really screwed that up. And that was like the downfall. So <clears throat> when that happened, um, I, I was able to finish my workout that day. But the next day I was in some serious pain. And um, so I skipped a couple days. That brings me to New Year's Eve. Me and my brother were, were wrestling around, having a wrestling match, with, which we've done a million and a half times. And at one point, I felt my back, my lower back, just kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it. I felt it kind of like give out something weird. If you've had it happen, you know what I'm talking about. And I was okay the rest of the night. I woke up the next day, barely could move. I'd stand and I'd be like, like it, it was bad. So that went on for like three or four days. And then, this is the worst part. I've always had back trouble um, for my whole life. I got that from my mom. And um, I went, this is going to sound so stupid, you're going to make fun of me for this. But I went to plug my phone into the charger, which was on the arm, couch, uh, the arm of the couch. And I bent down like this. I went to plug it in. And I felt something else pull in like my middle and upper back. So I don't know if I was like overcompensating because my lower back was hurting and it put extra strain on my um, my upper back, but I felt that pull and I've been at a commission ever since that, even, even further, even worse. So it has really been a struggle. I was in a lot of pain um, in my back. I, haven't, I wasn't able to work out. Um, in fact, mentally, that messes with you. I started eating crappier foods a little bit more often, so I wasn't staying on point with my, my food intake, so that was going down. So between my hand, my lower back, my lower back started getting better, uh, messed up my, my like upper back. Man, I'm a mess. And then, as you can probably hear, I have a cold now, so I got sick on top of everything. So these last two, two and a half weeks have totally been kicking my butt <clears throat> and um, um, I've, been, I've been really focusing on other things to keep me um, pushing forward um, because working out is a big part of my life. I enjoy it, not every day, but I enjoy it 98% uh, of the time and to have that kind of taken away from me. Um, I thought it was unfair and it kind of stinks and um, for the first time I went, um, I got a, just a, an easy, uh, eased my way back into working out last night um, and the biggest problem I had was my hand um, because there's a constant pain like in my um, ring finger here um, and it, it, it totally was... Um, acting up so that that's going to be tough to to push through my back is I would say probably at like 90 percent I sh probably shouldn't have even gone and did any sort of workout yesterday but um, dude it was killing me so I want you to know um, 
like when, when you hear me talk about the, the personal development and things like that, this is the time when that is the most important. Because when you, when things are going good in your life and it um, seems like all the stars are lining up, everything's good, it's easy to be positive. But when, when you have consistent things just kicking your butt every single day, that's when it's really hard to stay positive and keep focused. So when, when um, I do my personal development every single day, when I was working out, I've been doing it now, and, that, and all of that just keeps me moving forward and keeps my mindset. Mindset is such a huge deal. Um, um, if you have the wrong mindset, it's so easy to get off track when things are going wrong, even when things are going right. But when you have the right mindset, you can keep focused, keep moving forward, and not let things hold you back and stop you. So, my message um, is, is, like I could go into a lot, lot more things, but I want you to understand that it's not all um, peaches and cream, so to, so to say. Life isn't always easy and fun and, and, and motivational and things like that for me. So, keep that in mind, I am, a, I am human, I have struggles just like everybody else, and I get my butt kicked just like everybody else, and um, that, that is my message for today. So keep, keep focused, be willing to learn always, keep moving forward, no matter what happens in your life, and um, you'll be able to keep going. So I hope everybody has an awesome day, and take care. See ya.